What's up guys? I honestly thought I had a problem with my transmission. I was hearing like a rattling noise that would kind of sound when I would press the gas in all gears. But the weird thing is that it would stop making that noise when I press the clutch or when I put it in neutral and try to press the gas, get the RPMs up. Which made me to believe that it was the transmission. And I took a video of what the noise sounded like because you only really could hear it while you're driving and you can't hear it when the car is parked and you try to press the gas. Pretty much only when the car is moving. So here's the video. So I searched up online like what could be the problem in the transmission and I thought it was maybe a bearing or something but one thing I came across was that it could be your drive shaft. So I checked my drive shaft and everything seemed pretty good. I didn't expect anything because this was a pretty new drive shaft. That one piece I got made like just last year or less than a year ago and sure enough there's actually play That side is good though. But yeah, so I tried to grease it and it helped the noise go away, but there's still the play, which is causing vibration. So that's what we're gonna replace today. So this is the replacement um, U joint that I'm gonna install. And there's like a great debate about U-joints, like Moog itself. People see some bad things about Moog sometimes. But you know, there's also some good things. And I kind of really need it today. So, which is why I just went with Moog. So this is the greasable um, U-joint put the grease fitting in there comes with the clips and the zerk fitting there's also a great debate about um, greasable u-joints and non-greasable u-joints pretty much what it is is pretty much the same thing so they say a greasable u-joint is better than a sealed u-joint when you take care of it or like keep up with greasing it and especially if you do a lot of off-roading or go to the beach or mud so you could 
grease it and it'll kind of push the water out if water ever does get inside but at the same time they say a sealed u-joint is better than a greasable u-joint that hasn't been maintained so i'm gonna try to do my best to maintain this one but yeah when i try to grease that u-joint right there grease couldn't even go inside and when i took off the um, grease fitting the zerk fitting there was like completely no grease inside and the grease that was in there was pretty much dried up and was just straight up dust another reason why i went with um moog u-joints is because the greasable fitting is same thing like this one on the bearing cap i was almost gonna buy the this is a cheaper autozone one the duralast but the greasable fitting on that one was like in the corner over here and i read reviews on it that sometimes or pretty much a lot of times it's hard to fit the grease gun in between um, this part of the shaft and this part so people weren't even able to grease it at all so if you're planning to switch over or change your u-joints to greasable u-joints then just keep that in mind as well so we're gonna go ahead and take off this drive shaft you guys should know how to do this already So we got the drive shaft out and you can already kind of tell that it, this U-joint is in bad shape. So even um, going this way, it feels smooth, pretty smooth, but this way is like kind of tough. There's resistance and it's hard to turn. Before we get started, there's an inner snap ring that we have to um, take out. I don't know if you guys can see it that good. But this thing right here, if I push on it, you'll see the other part move. So you grab a socket and I recommend impact sockets like the black hard ones that fits right over the bearing cap sledgehammer and go to town like this inside and then you're gonna have this and then just finish it off all the way and you cut it out Now it's out. So here's a close up of the U joint. I took this bearing cap off, and there's supposed to be pins in here, which is the bearings. It acts as like rollers so it's supposed to be like this where it's firm no play I'll pull this out for you guys so you can, you can see you guys can't really see the rollers inside or the pins because it's well greased let me see if I could try the other side you guys might be able to see the rollers in here better. I 
and this is the one that was um like had a lot of play inside it's not supposed to be like that so you guys can see this one doesn't have any play this one has a lot of play and when you pull this out you guys can't even see like any pins inside or anything like I don't know if it got like disintegrated or whatever but yeah as you guys can also see the shaft part is like damaged I guess from all the play and it kind of got deformed so here's the new U joint pull it off pull it apart you guys can see all the pins inside before we install the new U joint we want to make sure um, these parts are clean go to town and then this is a part where you gotta be careful you gotta take out um, one of the bearing caps set it aside make sure the pins don't fall out so you slide this part underneath I don't know if you have to take the top one off too. Carefully put it back. I'm gonna hold it just to kind of set it in there. And then catch the top side. Be careful of the pins. And then you can see the grooves of where the clips are supposed to be. And the view joints came with some new clips. Just put it on there. Grab your hammer. Whoop. And once you get it in, kind of like hanging on. Got the drive shaft in with the new U joint, and as you guys can see, there's like no play anymore. So, 
I'm about to take it for a test drive. Four amp steps. vibrating like sort of crazy but it's going smooth so we're on the freeway and the truck is driving smooth just like how it should but I'm glad that it wasn't a transmission problem because that would suck. To be honest, I thought it was my trans and like I wasn't super bummed. I even like started looking for another 5-speed trans. I started calling around the transmission shops, like telling them my problem and they just told me to bring it in but that's the good thing about the research, like you you kind of find or find stuff to check out and see if that's your problem and if it is you can go ahead and fix it yourself and save money so that's a good thing but right now we're gonna turn around and head back home so we're back home now guys and truck feels good way smoother than before there's still a lot of things that I still gotta do to this truck maintenance wise like change my ball joints my front lower ball joints and I still want to redo my exhaust too. I have all the parts for it already, but I gotta um, set an appointment for somebody to weld it because I'm gonna be redoing the whole piping from the header back all the way to the tips. And I don't have a pipe bender, so that kind of stuff is all of my capabilities. I got a whole bunch of parts laying in my room, just waiting, but not enough time. So if you guys are interested in seeing those and seeing what I have for the truck, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, drop a comment down below, share videos, and subscribe. Peace.